Hi guys, this is the 11th model of this particular weather application. Uh, we'll be moving straight to async tax loader. Uh, we're going to remove the async tax and initialize the async tax loader. Right in the main activity, uh, we have the, the loader ID, you know. Baba, we give it the forecast loader ID. You know, this ID will uniquely identify the loader. We can use it, for example, to get a handle on our loader at a later point in time through the support loader manager uh, from the main activity we are we have implemented the loader callbacks interface with the type of string array so if you notice are uh, from the uh extents uh we need to call on the loader callbacks uh string array over here you need to add this to the implement uh, uh functionality after you might have extends the app compact activity uh, right there, we still have to have the loader callbacks. Uh, what about we have the callback and we call on the main activity, which is this particular class. Uh, the second parameter of the neat loadout method below is a bundle. Optionally, you can pass a bundle to the init loader that you can then access from within the uncreate loader callback. In this case, we don't actually use the bundle. It's here in the case we wanted to. We have the bundle for loader. Where we assign it, we assign null to it. Uh, now we need to ensure the loader is initialized and active as a neat loader. If the loader doesn't already exist, one is created, and if the activity and fragment is currently started, uh, the loader, you no, know, otherwise the last created loader is reused. So we have the guest support load loader manager, where we have the loader ID, the bundle for loader, and the callback as the three parameters used. Uh, within the the create loader we're going to return a new async tax loader that looks a lot like the existing fetch weather tax uh, we used in previous tutorial instantiating and return a new loader for the given id about we have the loader we have the string uh, generic uh array and we have the uncreate loader where we're passing the id as an integer the final bundle and the loader argument now we need to return the async tax loader based on still on the string array with this uh, class. Uh, this string array will hold and help, uh, help to catch our weather data. So this is what the M weather data is doing. Uh, we assign it to null for now. Now we're going to catch the weather data in a member variable and deliver it on start loading. So we have subclasses of async tax loader, which must implement this to take care of loading the data. We have the on start loading. What about if the M weather data is not equal to null, it's going to deliver the result. That is it, deliver the result based on the M weather data parameter. Else, the M loading indicator will be set to visibility. We set the visibility to visible. We know we have the load indicator. Uh, let me click on it so that we'll be able to quickly see. The M loading indicator is the progress bar. So don't forget it. We've all, all discussed this earlier. Now we have the first load method you no know, there's a there is a method that will be run that will be running in the background you no know. this is the method of the async tax loader that will load and pass this json data from the open weather map in the background and the weather data from the open weather is an array of strings uh null if an error occurs we have the loading background what about the the location queries the string uh where do we, we have the weather preferences you get the preferred weather location and you pass it to the main activity we get to look at that we've seen that earlier in the open weather json utilities can you notice it gets simple weather string from json you know uh, this is uh whereby we get uh the URI and we'll get the call down to the main activity so we're still focused on the main activity uh we have the weather request url uh, whether we have the network utilities, we'll build the URL, we'll pass the location query. Uh, we have the try and catch. Well, we have the JSON weather response. Uh, we get the response from HTTP URL. We pass the weather request URL. Uh, the URL we created over here as a parameter here. Now we have the string J J JSON weather data. How about we open the weather JSON utilities and we call on the get simple weather string from json the one i showed you earlier uh we pass it into the main activity 
and uh, this particular class and we return the simple JSON weather data. There's an exception if it's uh, been uh, triggered, we we'll print to, to, to stack trace and we'll return null. Uh, that's cool. We have the deliver result method that was passed into the, the, the check of the mWeather data and whereby we we'll pass the mWeather data parameter uh, into it. So this is actually taking a data string array. Uh, that's why we could pass the mWeather data as a parameter into it when we call the deliver result. And now the super class is called, we, we, we call the deliver result and pass in the data. So this is just going to call the data result. That's what that is actually uh, doing. And now we, we, we're we going to load, uh, when the load is finished, you know, we're going to show either the data or an error message. If there's no data, uh, it's going to call when the previous created loader was as finished, it's load. Also, we have on load finished, the M load indicator will be set to invisible, probably when it has loaded the data. Uh, and the M forecast adapter is going to set the weather data based on the data gotten. Now, if the null, if null is the data, it's going to show the error message, else it's going to show the weather data view. You get to understand that very well. Uh, when we're going to call when a previous created loader is being reset and thought making its data unavailable the application should at this point remove any references it's asked to the loader's data so on loader reset uh, we we aren't using this method in our example application but we're required to override it to implement the loader callbacks uh, we have the invalidate data uh, what about we pass the M forecast? We set the weather data and we pass the null as the parameter. This method is used when we are resetting data so that at one point in time during a refresh of our data, you can see that there is no data showing. So that's what that is actually doing. So this will, this is based on the open location map we talked about in the previous lesson before this. And uh, we have the on-click and the show weather data view still writing that i uh, will be moving straight to the launch settings activity from here so i will implore you to still stay by stay with this channel stay tuned and uh don't go anywhere we still have a lot of uh, modules right in uh, in stock uh take care of yourself bye bye